Hey, this is Ryan, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a custom printed circuit board using free software from our PCB partner, Bay Area Circuits. Go to PCBCreator.com and click the Download Now button and install it on your computer. After it's installed, click Schematic Capture from the Launcher menu. You could design the PCB from scratch using the PCB Layout tool, but there's built-in error checking that works better if it has a schematic to compare to. Plus, it's easier. I'm going to design a simple dual LED flasher for a new Jameco kit. I wasn't able to find every component I needed, so I created a couple custom parts uh, using the component editor and pattern editor, which I'll show you how to do in another video. First, let's bring in all the components I'm going to use. You can choose components using the slider and they're sorted first by component type and then by manufacturer. Here's a few of the components that I made. I need two jumbo 10 millimeter LEDs, so I'll plop a couple here. And I want some vertically placed resistors, and I'll need four of those. You can see a preview of the pattern here. I can label the values and adjust the placement after I get everything on the board. So I need two polarized capacitors, so I'll pick two pole caps, and you can see it has the little plus sign. One, two. I need two potentiometers, so I'll go to pot on the component slider. Now this list is crazy long, but I know the potentiometer I want is a 3362 series. So I can search that here. Voila. Two of those. And I need two transistors, so let's look at the transistor list. And another really long list, so let's try BC547B. Uh, nothing. So that's a pretty standard component, and it ought to be in here, but it could be under a manufacturer. So the way to search the whole database is to go to objects find component, type BC547B, find now, and it looks like it found two, one from Motorola and one from Philips NXP, but I like the Motorola one better because it has the arrow on the emitter. We'll close that. So now I'll scroll down to Motorola and search again, and there we are. Take two. And the last component I need is actually a pad for the 9 volt battery wires. So I'll go to BAT and find one that looks small using the pattern preview. Just one. Now you can arrange and rotate components. You can mirror them on the axis. So we'll lay this out now. Now is a good time to label your components. 10K there. And then you can verify the design. No errors. So now everything is connected, labeled, and verified. So I'll save it. And then convert to a PCB using file, convert to PCB. Use default settings. Now I could auto-arrange all the components, but that's pretty boring. Um, the idea is to have a custom look, so I'm going to place everything how I want it. And you can press F10 to move the component label so you have a little more clearance. 
you can also custom label the AT. Try to avoid silk on top of your pads. And I also wanted to add mounting holes so you can click the place mounting hole button. The board isn't finished until these signal wires called rat lines are routed. And that's where we use the handy auto route feature. But also sets the PCB perimeter which you can adjust and do a quick error check to see if you had any problems. No errors found. I can view the final dimensions by choosing design information from the file menu. And almost two by one and a quarter. I think I can get this board a little smaller. So I'm going to do a little massaging of this layout to tighten it up a bit. I'm going to start by manually setting these board points. And then I'll move the components back in. And now I can do a little tweaking. So I'm going to unroute all so I can do a little maneuvering and then I'll auto route again. So after you verify, you can also compare to schematic. And missing component. Well, that's just silly because it's there. But double check, that's how you do that. So now I want to add some finishing touches like part numbers and branding. So you can use copper pour or the ABC text on the silk screen layer. I'll give the board a name. And a part number. You can resize a little. And last but not least, well, how about well, you get the idea. And then you can click 3D. It just says I don't have any profiles associated with my components, but it will 3D render your circuit board. I think it's pretty cool that you can visualize the PCB in 3D like this. And when everything's good, you have no errors and you're ready to order, you can click the export option to order a PCB from Bay Area Circuits. And when you purchase a PCB, they'll give you the Gerber files free of charge. I was surprised how easy designing a functional PCB could actually be, and I'm looking forward to more elaborate designs for my next project. Download PCB Creator and start designing your PCBs today.